What's going on guys, Bills here from Achievement Land and I'm here with an Achievement Guide for Shredders. I'm going to show you how to do all 25 gaps. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Cowie Ninja Rider 7 for making an awesome guide on TrueAchievements.com. I used that guide to make this video, but uh, yeah, I wanted to make a video in case you guys were having any troubles with any of the jumps. Some of them could be a little annoying to trigger, but yeah, I'm going to run through all of them and there's 25 of them. So the first area is Frozen Wood and the spawn is Top Park and we have two gaps. So as soon as you spawn in, you're going to see the gap in front of you. There's a white flag, and that's where the gap is located. Now we have to jump over this gap, and we have to turn the flag to black. If you just do a jump over, it's going to turn green. If you do a trick and you get a little points, it turns red. But if you get enough points, it will turn black. And that's what we need to do for every flag. You could just do like a spin with a grab, and that should be enough points on each one. So let's go back to the spawn. Now you can see the flag is black, so it's done. Now we're going to go to the next one, which is behind it. So just go over this way. And we're going to jump over and do a trick. And there we go. That one's done now as well. Alright, so we're done with this spot. We're going to head to the next spot, which is mid-peak. And we have another two gaps here. So let's spawn in mid-peak. Now once you start here, you want to press Y and take out your drone. And you can fly it around. You can actually teleport your player with the drone. You press X and we'll spawn your player where your drone is. Now we're going to fly over this way. You're going to see paths that go left and right. We're actually going to go straight over this hill here. And as you come down this mountain, you're going to look to the right and you'll see a gap. You'll see one of the flags. And the next one is right behind it. So we're going to put our drone up this way and press X to spawn our player. And wherever you spawn, it will actually save your spot there. So if you press B, it will restart where you spawned at. You can even rewind. You can press X and it will rewind Forza style. But if you press B, it will bring you back to where you spawned at. Now we also have the snowmobile that we can call out. You hold L bumper and R bumper and he'll come and pull you and you hold up to go faster. You want to use it here to get some extra speed so that you can jump far enough to trigger this one. And there we go. That one's done. See that little uh, snowmobile symbol? That's the only time you can use it. If you don't see that symbol, then you won't be able to call the snowmobile. Now the next gap is actually right in front of us. You can see the flag. This is a really easy one, so just head forward. And we're going to jump over it and just make sure you do a trick. And there we go. This one is done. Alright, so now we're going to head to the next spawn, which is still in Frozen Wood. But we're going to go to Soft Peak. And this one has two gaps as well. Both of them are to your right as you spawn in. I'm going to show you with the drone first. Here's the first one. And then right after the first one, up a little bit ahead, is the second one. First one done. Now we can keep going forward to the next one. And there's the second one. All right, so now we can go to the next area. We're done with frozen wood now. We're gonna go over to Mountain Pass and we're gonna go to the first spawn pass. This one has three gaps. The first one is straight ahead. So just go straight and jump over the street. This is an easy one. Alright, we got the first one. Now we're going to go back to the spawn again. Now this time we're going to go to the right towards the antenna. We're going to use the snowmobile to get some speed. And when you hit the jump, you want to jump towards the right. And there we go. Now we're going to go back to the spawn again. And we're going to get the third gap. So for this one, we're going to take out our drone and we're going to go to the left and follow this road down. So just head over this way. It's down a bit. You'll see a ramp over here with some trees and that's going to be the next gap.
And there we go. This spot is done. So now we can go back to the map and we can go to the next spawn. Still in Mountain Pass, we're going to go to Scary Dairy. And this place also has three gaps. I'm going to show you where they are with the drone. So the first one is to the left a little bit. Right here. And then down the mountain a little bit more, you'll see the next one. Right here. And then down a little bit more, you'll see the third one. Over to the right a little bit, right here. So just go straight and just go to the left a little bit and you'll see the first one. Alright, that one's done. And that's actually our 10th one, so you should get an achievement here. And now I'm going to use the drone to go back a little bit. So I can set up this next jump. And there we go. That's the second one here. Now we have one more, so let's use the drone again and line it up. It's over to the right, just a little bit. There it is. Now we're going to go back this way a little bit. You can use a snowmobile if you want. Get a little speed. Now you got to come at it from this side. And there we go. Alright, that's all the gaps in this area. Now we can go to the map and go to the next spot. We're going to go to the next area, Petrov, and we're going to go to the dam spawn. And this spot has two gaps. Now when you spawn over here, you want to use your drone. The first gap is actually behind us a little bit. It's this jump right here into the dam. And then the next one is right after it. So we're going to go up here and do this one first. Just bring your drone back this way. And we're going to spawn up here. You can use your snowmobile to get some extra speed. And this one's pretty easy. There we go. Now you can try to hit the next one right from this one. Unfortunately, it didn't work for me, so I'm going to use my drone, and I'm going to go back up by the dam. Now, you can actually spawn on the dam. You want to do it kind of on these indent areas. This way, we can smoothly go right into the snow, and we won't lose any speed. And there we go. There's the second gap. All right, now we can go to the next spot. Still in the Petrov area, but we're going to go to the Petro spawn. And this place has two gaps as well. Now when you spawn in, we're going to use our drone. And we're going to go over to the left side. Just follow this bridge over. Now here's the first one. We have to jump over this bridge. And then the second one is right behind it over there. So we're going to follow this path up this way, and we're going to do the first one. We could spawn right here. And we're going to call in our snowmobile to pull us, to give us some speed. And there we go. The first one's done. Now the second one's right here, but we're going to use the drone so we can go up the path a little bit. We could spawn like right over here. Again, you want to use the snowmobile and let it pull you to give you some extra speed. And there we go. Alright, we're done with this spot. We're going to go back to the map and we're going to go to the next spawn, which is Park Right. And this place only has one gap. Now you want to take out the drone and we're going to fly forward a little bit. And you're going to see a bus. 
There it is. And we just have to jump over it. So we're going to go back a little bit and we're going to spawn at the top of this hill. All right, there we go. So we're done with this area. So we can go back to the map. So now we're going to go to the next area, Elysium. And we're going to go to the first spawn peak. Now this place has two gaps. As soon as you start, we're going to take out the drone and we're going to fly forward a little bit. We're going to go all the way over this way by this mountain. And over here is both of them. One of them is to the right and one of them is to the left. Now you can see this one over here to the right. And now there's the other one over here to the left. We're going to do this one first. We're going to just go back up a little bit up this mountain and we're going to spawn right here. Just try to aim towards the right a little bit so you can make it across. And there we go. Alright, so we're going to use the drone and we're going to go back. You can see the jump we just did and then we're going to go to the left and you'll see the other one. We're going to use the snowmobile for this one. I went back here, but you can even go closer. It doesn't really matter. We have to go around this uh, jump in the middle. So I'm going to go to the right side. Once you get to the side over here, you'll be able to use the snowmobile. There we go. And just hold up so you get a lot of speed. And there we go. Alright, we're done here and we can go to the next spot, which is uh, the next spawn, Backcountry. This place only has one gap. Now once you spawn in, you want to take out your drone and you want to go to the right. You want to head over this way to the mountain to the far right. And uh, you'll see over here two jumps next to each other. This is the gap. We're going to jump on the left one. You have to jump kind of straight over this uh, area. That's the gap, I guess. So just jump over straight and let's do it. You can uh, spawn right up here and we're going to use the snowmobile. And there we go. All right, now we can go back to the map and we can go to the next area, Corvo. And we're going to go to the first spawn ruins. This one has only one gap as well. Once you spawn in, take out your drone, and then you can fly forward a little bit. And you should see the flag right up here. And we can actually spawn right by it. We'll spawn right here. And this one's pretty easy. There we go. Now we're done with this spot. And we only have one spot left, which is in the next spawn, the village. You can actually check how many gaps you have completed in your character screen. You should be at 21 right now because we have four gaps left and they're all in this one area. So I'm going to show you where they are first with the drone. Over here to the left by the cable car we got our first one. And then over to the right in the middle of the village we got our next one. And then after the village towards the end here. Down this hill there's another one. And then the last one is actually in the fog. And I'll show you where that is after. So let's start with this one over here by the cable car. We can actually spawn right over here. So just do it at the high point of this hill. And we're going to use the snowmobile too. There we go. Now if you hold B, it will bring us back over by the cable car. And then we can use our drone and we can go in the middle of the village. This is where the next one is. Now we're going to go back a little bit. And we're going to spawn right here. Now besides the snowmobile, there's also these pole lines. Once you get in the middle here, you can use it and it will pull you over this way. And that will give us some speed to get over the house. And there we go. And now we can use the drone to get to the one at the end of the village this way. There it is, right here. 
and just go up the hill right here this should be good and there we go even though I fell it still counts and now I have one more left which is in the fog I'm gonna reset to go back up here a little bit and now we're gonna use the drone and we're gonna go over by the cable car up this way now once you get over here you're gonna look out towards the fog and we're gonna go straight You'll see this fence, and then there's another fence to the right, and that's where the gap is, right here. So we'll go up this hill here by the fence and spawn in. And there we go. And that's actually our last gap, so we're going to get the achievement here. Completing all 25 gaps. If for some reason it didn't pop, you could check your character, make sure you have 25 completed, see if you're missing any. You can go through the flags, make sure they're all black. Maybe one of them only turned red and didn't turn black, or maybe one of them didn't register. But as long as you did them all, you should get the achievement, no problem. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Once again, big shout out to Cowie Ninja Rider 7, and uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. Leave a like if it did, and I'll catch you guys next time here at Achievement Land. <laughs>